question for you. You're stuck on a desert island and you can only bring one peptide with you. Which one is it going to be? And it kind of seems like maybe a silly question, but I think that one of our goals ultimately in our role today should be what's going to give us the best chance of surviving everything that we're faced with. Obviously, it's not as extreme as being on a desert island, but in some cases, maybe even worse. There's a lot of stress. There's a lot of outside concerns. We're not following daylight and nighttime the way we should. I think that you can take the same information and transfer it to real life. So which peptide would it be? I guess my first thought would be BPC-157. It's going to be tissue repair, neuroprotective, it's going to help my gut to heal. So it goes a long way. If I truly had one peptide, just one, I would probably choose a GLP-1 agonist. So remember, those are things like our Ozempics, which I know we all think of for weight loss. And obviously, if I'm stuck on my desert island, I'm not concerned about weight loss. If I was in a place, no hospitals, no doctors, it's just me. And I would challenge that that's the way we should all live, that we are responsible for our own health. The GLP-1 agonists are going to go a long way to do everything I need to do. Number one, the biggest risk we have is cardiovascular disease. Cardiovascular disease takes out more people than cancer, viral illnesses, even those get a lot more play. And that's where GLP-1 receptor agonists can change the game. The cardiovascular protection data shows a 20 to 30% reduction in heart attacks, risk, cardiovascular deaths. The sustained trial using people on semaglutide should the major cardiac risk events decrease by 20%. But not only that, think about all the other things that GLP-1s do. They're going to be kidney protective. They reduce inflammation everywhere. They protect your brain, optimize your metabolism, really genuine longevity effects. So they're going to help every single organism that's going to be challenged when I'm on my desert island. But hold up. Maybe a case could still be made for BPC-157 because this peptide literally is called the Wolverine peptide for a reason. And that's because it has such tremendous healing powers. Remember, BPC is really involved in biologic repair. It accelerates wound healing. It is gut protective. It increases blood vessel flow. It's tendon and ligament healing. And it even protects against toxins. Here's the thing. If you had a serious injury, if you needed a fast repair, BPC is going to be the choice. Desert Island Tough one, because I may need something really on a day-to-day -day basis that's going to help me survive. What's the verdict? What's the final answer? Not just for my desert island, but for everyday life. Which one peptide should you choose? And I think this is an important question, because we hear all these peptides that we should be taking. BPC, and thymosin alpha-1, and thymosin beta-4, and SS-31, and human, and epitalin, and that becomes a little overwhelming to most of us. I'm not sure that this is really an ironic question to ask, because I think that we can do so much with some really simple things. So if I just had to pick one peptide for anything under six months, like I needed some acute process healed, it's going to be BPC. But for the long run, the end game, I think you got to look at your GLP-1 agonist. And that's where we are using the GLP-1 agonist, like semaglutide, and cheers epitide as longevity drugs because they're so incredibly powerful to protect every organ system and every pathway in the cell that we know needs to be optimized for longevity and health span. If you can only afford to, only have the capacity to do one peptide. If you're dealing with something acute, you're dealing with something that needs repair, you just had traumatic brain injury, a concussion, go with BPC-157. If you just need something that's going to protect you against every major risk factor affecting your health span, you should choose the GLP-1 agus. Hopefully, this helps you guys. We get so overwhelmed sometimes with all the things that we're told to do that we end up doing nothing. And I really want to remind you that sometimes a very simple approach can make a huge difference. Sleep, exercise, stress reduction, nature, socialization, and a GLP-1 eggs.